Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, exercise number 16. We make this 3D model with the help of this diagram in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the front plane for the sketch and draw this profile. Extrude this up to 42 millimeters. Fill in these required corners with a specified radius. Next, we have to through cut out these both circles from solids. Also, draw a circle on this face and cut out through from solid. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the line tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the first point of the line. Draw line straight horizontally to the left side and put the value 35 mm according to calculation and press enter. Next, draw straight vertically to downward and put the value 6 mm and press enter. Draw a line straight horizontally to the left side and put the value 14 mm and press enter. Then draw the line straight vertically to the upside and put the value 20 mm and press enter. Draw a line straight horizontally to the right side and put the value 42 mm according to the diagram and press enter. Then draw the line straight vertically to the upside and put the value 42 mm and press enter. If we calculate the dimensions according to the diagram, so we got 42 mm long. Now we need to draw the line straight horizontally to the right side. For the end point of the line, we can get a tracking reference from the origin point. Also, we can enter 12 mm in length for this line. Our half profile is done. Make sure we enter the correct value for this sketch. To complete this profile, we require a mirror of this half sketch. Select all entities by using cross window selection. Select the mirror entities from the sketch tab. While using a mirror entity make sure that listed all entities which you have selected. Also, check that selected entities are converted in sky blue color. Keep enable copy option for the mirror. Select the mirror about the section. For the mirror reference axis, drop down the part history and select a suitable plane for the mirror. In this case, we required the right side plane for the mirror reference axis. As you select the plane it shows a preview of the mirror, as you confirm your preview, then click on the right mark. Now our sketch is fully defined. Now extrude the sketch using the extrude feature from the sketch tab. Enter the 42 mm extrude value as shown in the diagram. See the preview and click on mark OK. Our 2D diagram converts into a 3D model. Now we will make this portion of the diagram by using fillet. Radius value is 21 mm. Select the fillet tool from the sketch tab. Put the value of radius 21 mm. Select these both edges. Here you can see the preview of the fillet. And then click on OK. Now we have to make this hole on both sides. Select this face and click on the sketch take a circle tool from the sketch tab. For the center point of the circle, we get tracking reference from the midpoint of this edge. Approximate I select center point here. 
put the 12 mm value of the diameter of the circle. Make sure we draw a circle in the correct place. According to the total width of the object. Circle place in the middle of the width. This dimension is 21 mm. Once we draw a circle with tracking reference from the midpoint of this edge, now we need to set dimensions for these circles. Select the smart dimension from the sketch. Select this circle and this edge. Place the dimension and put the value 24 mm as shown in the diagram. And press enter. Next, we have the center to center dimension for these circles. Place the dimension and put the value 50 mm as shown in the diagram. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extrude Cut tool. Make sure we select Direction through all. Check the preview. Then click on OK. Now we have to make this hole. Select this face and click on the sketch. For the center point of the circle, we get the center reference of this fillet. Take a circle tool from the sketch tab. If you couldn't find the center snap point, just move the cursor of this fillet edge. Then automatically we got the center snap point of this filled arc. Select this center snap point and put the 20 mm diameter of the circle. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extrude Cut tool. Make sure we select Direction through all. Check the preview. Then click on OK. Now we need to fill it some edges of this diagram. Like these edges. Select a fillet tool from the sketch tab, fillet value is not mentioned in this diagram, so we approximately put the value of the radius, 5 mm. Then select one by one required edges for filleting. Check the preview. Then click on OK. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the Appearance. And, select Metal. Select Brass Material. And, I choose Cast Brass Material. Just drag it on the object and select the Body option. Now, here we applied material to this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.